Good day everyone. I just want to share to you the Tecla Structure 2023 rebar set for the curb beam. There's uh, quite an uh, improvement for the uh, curb beam uh, for this uh, using the rebar set. But of course, there's still some uh, limitation if, if it is a, uh, a double curb beam. Now, I uh, just want to, sh to show you the uh, uh, curb beam first. And I'm going to use the rebar set here. So first, I, I will use the longitudinal rebar set. So here, if you pick the edge of this uh, curb beam, and then pick the side to, uh, to reinforce, so let's say, for example, the bottom uh, part. So I, I'm going to select this one, and then right uh, middle button of your mouse. And then as you can see here, uh, automatically it will give you the... Uh, the reinforcement at the bottom of this curved beam. So if I may uh, add also the, uh, the longitudinal bar at the top of the beam. So same thing, I'll select that one and then you will have this uh, top bar. Of course, as well as the uh, side, these two sides, I, I press the control and then pick the two sides and then middle button of your mouse. And you will have this uh, reinforcement for this curb beam. So basically, uh, it seems that there's a, a very good improvement for this uh, um, rebar set for this uh, curb beam. Now, let's uh, add now the, uh, okay, by the way, maybe we can just simply change the, uh, the size of this rebar. Okay, so maybe change this one to a bigger bar, let's say 20 and then modify. All right, and now we're going to add the uh, the reinforcement or the the stirrups on this curb beam. So same thing, I will use the crossing rebar set, and then pick the edge of the curb beam, and then as you notice here, uh, it will highlight the four sides, and then you just simply click the middle button of your mouse, and there you go. So as you can see here, you have this. Uh, rebar set maybe I'll just change the color and then change the uh, size maybe and all right and as you can see this one is inside the uh, the longitude longitudinal bar so what I will do is I will just simply uh, uh, change the position okay so if you notice here I, I selected the uh, direct modification and then select this uh, rebar the links and then here, there is a option here to move to the outermost layer. So if I click on this one, as you can see, everything moved to the outermost layer. Okay, and of course, if you want to add the, uh, the end detail, just pick this edge and this edge. So this one, mm -hmm. and there you go. So you have now this, uh, ninety degrees bend for the links. Okay. So the the thing here is uh, some of this were not uh, bend ninety degrees because of the guideline. So all we have to do is to move this guideline to the. Uh, uh, further so that it will be bend uh, all this uh, corner of these uh, uh, stirrups. Okay, so that's the uh, rebar set for the curb beam in Tecla Structure 2023. Uh, and uh, in in addition to that, uh, basically this uh, longitudinal longitudinal works for the double bend or double curve. Okay, but only on the side. So if you not, if you pick this uh, edge of this uh, uh, beam, curve beam, and then the bottom, if I click the middle button, then it's not actually working properly. So just undo that one, and then maybe I'll change this one to twenty again, and then here I'll uh, put it uh, as a three. It's okay. And then here, this one only works on this side, this side and 
the two sides and then middle button of your mouse if you notice it will be properly placed on the uh, side of the double curve beam now uh, for the stirrups and the top and bottom uh, uh, rebar uh, I would uh, recommend or I would suggest to use the uh, uh, bridge rebar here which is really good for this double curve uh, beam okay so let's say for example I will use this uh, main bar so by simply picking this uh, edge again and then pick the two points and then select the part to reinforce and then middle button of your mouse and then as you can see here it will place the uh, uh, the rebar nicely in the double curve beam so using the uh, bridge rebar now for the crossbar same thing i'll just simply click the crossbar here and then pick the edge of pick the part to uh, <clears throat> pick the part to determine the bar range so again pick this Okay, again, let, let me just go back again to the uh, crossbar. So pick the part. And then pick the point to determine the bar shape. So let's say, for example, I'm going to pick the U shape. One, two, three, and then four. And then middle button of your mouse. And then pick the part to ring. Uh, and then middle button of your mouse. And then as you can see here, it will be placed properly. And it the... Uh, the distribution of the uh, uh, stirrups will be placed nicely using the bridge rebar okay so that's uh, that's the tecla structure 2023 for the rebar set in curved beam thank you